Well, I'm back, and I also didn't know that I was muted that whole time, so sorry about that. It's hard to tell when no one comes in and tells me and I miss it. <laughs> so, uh, back to the game. I'm making this model. What? Alright, Twitch activity feed. Something happened, but the Twitch activity feed did not tell me what it was. And I did not see something show up. Oh, hi! Hi, work orc zug zug! It may have said that you followed me from when you followed me before. <laughs> Thanks for coming in! Okay. I got part of it put together here. Let's snip some more pieces. I was muted earlier and did not re realize it. So sorry. You know how it is sometimes. I was just talking about that earlier with somebody. Is there another one for this one? There it is. Okay, that made that go away. Makes sense. Happy to be here. Oh, that's fine. I appreciate it. Alright, Q does not put the tool back, unfortunately. Alright, does that go together? No. There's a piece in between this one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that fits there. Okay. And so that... There we go. That fits there. Move that. Those are the two arms. Hmm. Or are these the legs? These are the legs. All right, let me move this out of the way. These are the legs. Oh, there goes the foot. All right, there we are. There's the two legs with the feet, okay. And this is a gun, I think. Let's get this piece out. Snippy. I really like the model builder simulator game, which is like a, I don't know, it's similar to this, this part of this game, but it's less pixely and I think it's a little easier, like it tells you, it's better about telling you what goes together. All right, put that back. This looks like a hand. What do the arms look like? This looks like hips. Ah, yes. There we go. I will slowly get this put together. These look like the chest parts. These look like shoulders. I don't know, it's kind of interesting because I don't really know what goes where. Ah. There we go. There we go. Cool. All that is snapped together. This is a hip part. Nice. Hmm. 
This is definitely a face. Um, and these are the... Ah, there we go. Like in the idea though, models are nice, but don't... Yes, precisely. I was really into putting together... They're called 3D puzzles, but they look like miniatures and they're like paper craft and stuff. Ah, there we go. Those go together. And I really enjoy putting them together, but then what do I do with them? They're like sitting around my house. I managed to give two of them away and they're not like really good quality to the point where I'm like, oh, I could sell these. I don't feel like I could do that. This is gonna go, ah, there we go. That goes there. Okay. This is, this feels like it's a hand. This might be the other hand and maybe this, there we go. Okay. This is probably an arm part. And this is an arm part. Where's the piece that looks like the joint in between these? That one and this one. There we go. Yes. And then, ah, there we go. I got an arm put together. Okay, so that, that, this, this. There we go. These look like shoulders. Nice. Got some shoulders there. Um, these look like chest parts. Maybe they fit right together. Yes. Okay, that's chest parts. These go over it. I like the sound of them snapping together. Okay, that's cool. Ooh! That into there. But yes, I like putting models together of most types. But trying to find something to do with them afterwards. Ah, that does go there. Nice. Where does this go? This looks like a neck part. Yeah. Head? No, not there. Oh, maybe this. Yeah. Yeah! What are all these little <laughs> miscellaneous pieces? Let's look at the second page. Okay, so this goes there. Gun goes here. Okay, let's move this up here. Does this just... No, we need a waist in there somewhere. Hmm. Hip part. Okay, let's scoot these over. Okay. All right, let's just try and fit some stuff together. There we go. Okay. There, okay. Okay. Where does this thing go? Why is there only one of them? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, here's another piece. What is that for? Maybe it's the top of this shield thing. Or part of the gun. There we go. That goes there. What about this thing? No. Right, I'm going to just drag it around. Fine. Ah, it found its spot. I don't know where it was, but you might wonder why I included this program since it's not really a game in the strict sense of the word. It's more like a toy or some kind of weird simulator without any particular goal. I guess the reason is I was just so impressed by the lengths this guy went to make all this art and everything and releasing it all for free just because he wanted to build some model kits with his kid. I think that's such a great expression of creativity of the early computer era. There weren't nearly as many rules or commercial pressures. You could just make a fun toy and that was the whole point. So I don't know how much this part of it is true to what this guy is talking about. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now I gotta try and paint it. Building models in a game. It's really nice. I mean, I like the hand made. I like to, you know, like glue stuff together and paint things, but this is cool too. Alright, so what are our... Here are are our suggestions. So let's do this. I'm just gonna paint it all this color first and regret it. That's gonna go really well. Can I turn it, I wonder? Yeah, this is not as detailed as um, the other game. No, you can't turn it. What are you thinking, Katie? Can I change the size of the... All right, tools, decap. Ooh, export an animated GIF. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, masking tape. What is pin wash? What is pin wash? What is pin wash? Oh, I think it's like an eraser. Okay. I'm going to paint this again. All right. And then let's get the masking tape. Hmm. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is way too hard. Uh, can I zoom in? Oh my god, this is gonna be a nightmare. This is gonna be a mess. Okay. We're... They have this in the other model game. Oh my god. But it's a little easier to use. I guess, what do you expect? This is supposed to be like a BBS. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I don't see a way to zoom in. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, cancel that. Okay, no, okay. Okay, and that's... Okay. Close enough. Okay. Okay, let's get the tape again. How do I get it around this curve? Ah, uh, close enough. <laughs> That's not working. Nope, nope. Mm. It just makes me want to get Model Builder back out. Oh no. Can I be very careful about it? No. Okay. Let's try this again. Why can't I just get in closer? I really wish I could. For my own eyesight. <laughs> That's a little better. On one foot, at least. Oh, that's not what I want. Take that back off. Do red. All right, I guess I need it across the top too if I'm trying to fix this gray. Specifically that one. Ah, 
I should really put it on the top too. Close enough. Yeah, that's not that's not that bad. Hi, Sean. How's it going? I think the black got over here when I sprayed the other foot. Ah, oh, that's too close. Hectic work stuff. Oh, not fun. I don't want that that close. Back that up. All right, let's try this again. I wish I had like, you know how if, well, I don't know if you, you've seen this before, but somebody who does like watercolor, they can paint that material on that's like a, something they can peel up that will just keep them from painting in an area. I need that. <laughs> or I can just paint it on instead of dragging pieces of tape. Alright, I better cover all this up because I think the black got on the other leg when I was painting before. That's close, right? That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh my god. Look at these. Like, do this tiny red dot. Do the. <laughs> I might be. I might be dumb. I might be dumb with this one. <laughs> Am I gonna gain anything out of this? Let's get some of the red, I guess. It's hard to control this tape also. Okay. Let's do that. Probably let's those ready red dots go. Yes. Yes. If I had like let me just talk about the other games more. If I had like the the tiny paintbrushes and stuff that the other model game has, maybe. Um That and 
there. Is that right? All that part's red to some extent. All right, let's... Oh man, it's too wide. All right, let's take that back off. Oh, you know what I could do. Let's do this. Just do this red. Okay. That's good. And then let's take all this back off. And now let's try this wash. I thought it took the paint off before. Maybe I didn't understand how that worked. All right, let's try. That. I'm picturing like the numbers if there was a stencil or something you could spray against. Yeah, that would be nice. A, some type of stencil would be nice. Oh, there are decals. Oh, that's good. That's for some of that stuff. Okay, let me move this over here. Thank you for mentioning that because that will help with some of this. Like this, there, there we go. Thank you, work. <laughs> yes. And Was I supposed to do something to put those on better? Maybe that's what this is for. Oh no, once I got out of it, now they look okay. All right, let's put the decals away for the moment. Tape is really hard to use. I have to use like 15 pieces of tape just to try to get around this because it's difficult to use. All right, dark gray. There we go. I feel like, I mean, I know it's supposed to emulate like an old ass computer, but it's like, why are they making it so hard? I cannot get that lined up. <laughs> I cannot get that lined up. All right, that's fine. Good enough. No, that's... Alright. How is pin wash used? I'm not understanding. T 
tips. Use the pin wash to darken panel lines after painting your, oh, that makes sense. Like this. It doesn't take the paint away, it just accentuates the edges. Got it. Got it. So it keeps the color, it just lets the lines show through. Nice. That's cool. All right. Blah. Yes, nice detail. I do like that. All righty. Man, my stream's gonna be over before I do anything else. All right, let's go find something. Uh, if I close out of this, let's go see what else there is to download. It's gonna take another couple minutes probably. Can I stay in? Oh, cool, I kept it. Nice. Can I make this smaller? It kept as much as I did. Okay, hang on. Minimize that. Call back to there. And then let's go back in here while we're waiting. Because that's going to take a little time. It's going to be... Once I... Well, once I decide to download something. It does sim simulate some of that. Okay, so this is number three, Steed Force Hobby Studio is what I'm in right now. Dungeons and 20th Century Food Court. Let's see what that is. See if you can make food for people in the future in this factor game from Zach Maddox. Definitely a weird premise, but once you try it, you might enjoy it, especially if you are technically minded. Uh-oh. The interface reminds me of this guy I know who has a whole room in his house dedicated to a machine that makes electronic noise. It sounds terrible, but he loves it. Oh, this is four, four skulls. Hold on, let's go back. I'm not that smart. Three skulls. Two skulls. It's sped up, I think it does, yeah. Remember it being like several minutes to download. Yes, it is a couple of minutes. But they have other stuff that you can do while you're waiting. Um, let's go back. This one's two stall, the skulls. Test your block matching metal against four wacky hackers. This game wasn't super well known over here, but you might have seen it played or played a version from home console. That's why Last Call BBS is proud to bring you a perfect full arcade version of the game. Best version. Be warned, you need at least a Z5 power lance to run this emulator at an acceptable frame rate. I, let's try it. I'm going to download that one. Okay, so that's going to take a couple minutes. Let's go back to this. Uh, let's get the tools back out. Oop, I got to scoot it over. At least I can do this while I'm waiting. Because it's got another couple minutes. To download. Oh, I need my, I need my manual. Oh, there's different colored versions. I'm just doing this one. Although, yeah.
Hi, Holly. Holly's my number one today. No worries about someone picking up another phone in the house. Yep, exactly. At least that. All right, let me just do this. So that I don't accidentally get gray on anything else. Okay, we're at gray. Okay. How's it going, everybody? I'm doing good. Sean brought me coffee. Thank you, Sean. Oh, I think we're connected. All right, let's get out of this. Save to drive zero. Okay, so we, and we've reached our limit for downloading, so we have to do that. Okay, let's see what this is. Hopefully you guys, you guys can hear the hard disk noise. This one took me a while to find. You could import the home console version of Hackmatch, but I wanted the full arcade experience. Like you were really in Japanese Game Center. In a Japanese Game Center. Not gonna lie, lie, I was pretty blown away to find out that you could emulate a full arcade machine on a Sam Sawayama Power Lance. I would have loved to have mentioned in my sales pitches if I could, but of course it wasn't exactly 100% legal and most people in the U.S. hadn't heard of Juice or its games before either, so this was a cool thing I mostly kept to myself and my BBS friends. Have we made any? <gasps> we made a friend. Okay. View controls. WASD, JK, insert coin is F1, pause is F2, okay. Uh, how many? <laughs> One person start. Wait, what I miss? What does this say? I can't read that. KP? Maybe? Alright, so I've inserted coins. I guess we'll do... Ah, J. Okay. Oh gosh. What have I, what have I done? What am I looking at here? Very good of Sean. Yes, Sean is a nice guy. Hmm. Um. Okay. I may have to just start the game and see if I can figure it out because I don't know what this is telling me. Have you guys seen a game like this? Maybe we should just start it and hope for the best. I do have to work this weekend. Last Saturday was the first one. And then, so this weekend and next weekend. And then I'm not off until the Saturday after May 2nd. May 2nd's election day. So then I'm off after that. All right, let's try this. Oh gosh. Um... Uh, I don't know. What? Why am I trying? Mm. That's not good. Ah, that I did something. Oh gosh. 
Um... No! What even is this? Um, what is this piece? <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh. Let's try again. Uh. Now I have an idea. But I don't know what these are. Oh. 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 Dang it. Like, what do I do with this piece? What? What? I don't. What? Why can't I? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Up, left, right, down, yes. Um... Yeah, I don't know what those pieces are for. What do those pieces mean? Let's try again. Now, what does it say? Dang! Timer. Let me see what's going on with the uh, with work. For those who don't know, I stream on my lunch break. But let's dismiss that. Get out of that. Okay, nothing looks crazy at the moment. Let me turn the sound back on. I have set a timer for four minutes. Let's see if my, <laughs> my watch. I swear as soon as they come up with a new one, set a timer for four minutes. says it's not connected to Bluetooth. Yes, you are. Okay, so. Line up two bombs and delete. Oh! Oh, that's what that top right one is saying, I guess. I have, and, and it can, can it be any type of bomb? Hmm, okay. Let's try again. No. Rude. No, I want that. Okay.
Ah! Nice! Now! Now! I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the bombs. Still. Ugh. This game is hard! <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done with that game. What else can we download? Yes, it's hard. Hopefully I haven't hit my limit. I'm gonna tell work I'm back. Close enough. Okay. Reach your download quote. Oh, I still have four minutes. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back in here. Manual tools. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Let's do the gray right below the chest part. I've never played Oregon Trail. I know the you you have died of dysentery joke. I was saying when I started this that I didn't, this is like, this predates my experiences with the internet. Because by the time I got online, pardon my alarm, by the time I got online, um, it was AOL. So I have a later, later version of early uh, internet. I knew a person who had a BBS and I knew about it and I knew like, you know, like, oh, I know this person from them coming to my BBS or something like that. You know, like there are some people that I know who know each other because they went to the same BBS or something like that, which I loosely understand. Okay, let's see if that's good enough. Okay, let's check our time. Two minutes. Okay. There's also solitaire on this computer um, that you can play while you're waiting. Which is nice. Holly, you've seen me stream that model builder simulator game, right? The one that's like this but better? Yeah. This game just makes me want to go play that game. <laughs> this part of this game, I should say. That's close enough. All right, let's make sure we don't get it on anything else. I think the other model, model builder game has different sizes and shapes of masking tape too. It's not just this thin stuff. 
Uh, no, this is black. Close enough. painful to use in some ways okay okay work oh I know what that is hang on mute Marcus red can I not mute it okay I muted it There's a web training session, but I don't, it's not for me. It's for, for our users, but I always accept them. So if somebody needs a link to it, <laughs> I could give it to them. All right. So this is gray. Okay. All right. Where are the decals? Oh, there's not a decal for that part. They really actually want me to paint that. That's that's a nightmare. They want me to paint these little gray dots in the middle of these, and that that's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. All right, let's get this other arm part because it's on one side but not the other. I'm going to do this arm part and then I'm going to go look at our time because I'm sure, surely I can download again by now or connect again. Yeah, here we go. Okay, seven is four. I'm trying to find something that's not as hard, but that other game was really hard. I'm gonna try this food court game. Oh, that one's got four minutes. Okay, let's go back in here. You can always play solitaire or more of that other game. No way about these dots. Yes, I know. Um, Which parts are gray? All right, let me take this one off. This part in the center here is gray. Maybe I can do all the gray parts at the same time. Ugh. All right. Nope. All right. Maybe I can get some of the gray parts at the same time.
can't be a perfectionist with this. Oh my god. This is making me <laughs> kind of upset. <laughs> I really am trying to be neat about this, but it's kind of impossible. All right, we're just gonna do that. We can at least get that part. All right, gray. Close enough. I guess. The hand is gray also. Oops. I mean, considering it's not that bad, it doesn't look that bad, right? Buy more tape. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Buy more tape. No. Okay, we got the new game. Let's get out of here and get out of there. We have another 15 minutes to wait. 20th Century Food Court. I need to remember to keep an eye on work. Click to continue. Oh, um, what? Oh. That was a lot. A lot to look at. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, it's so cute! Look at that! <laughs> I love it! That looks great. Okay, let's see what this is. I think I saw this when Nextlander streamed it. So much tape, but considering the tools and everything, you're... Thank you! I appreciate that. I was trying, to some extent. Greetings, operator. Historians agree that eating was of primary importance to the people of the 20th century, and that's why the 20th century experience takes special care to present authentic recreations of the simple but hearty meals humans ate during this period. As part of our commitment to offering our visitors the real deal, the 20th century food court uses only late 20th century equipment to prepare, prepare all of its food. Many diners tell us they can tell the difference between the mass-produced molecular synthesized food of our historical recreations and ours, which is lovingly handmade with humble factory robotics. We trust you'll be able to get up to speed using this equipment to manufacture these authentic ancient foods quickly and efficiently. Thanks, the management. That's what that was. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. A, sh a showcase of all the richness and variety the, si the ancients had to offer. Pretzels and nachos, food from opposite ends of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Pretzels and nachos. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> Co-mingle harmoniously in the demonstration of the sheer power and scale of the 20th century's great trade caravans. Okay, we don't have a menu to, like, look at a manual or anything. We just have to figure this out. Okay. Open. Oh, what? Start nacho pretzel. Oh god, I'm programming.
Okay, so we need... Yeah, this one. V Vinny looked like he was having a good time with it. Oh, here, here we go. Instructions. Oh, thank God. Create a wire or conveyor with left click. Move a wire or part with left click. Clone a part with control left click. Delete a wire or part with right click. Rotate with AD. AD. Hide all wires with shift, play, step, stop, Q, E. Oh God, I'm gonna have to come back in here 900 times because I won't be able to remember. Okay. Okay, this is where stuff comes out of. This is nachos, pretzels, cheese, complete. Okay. So either nachos or pretzels are going to need cheese, right? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Um, start nacho. Start pretzel. Oh. <laughs> um, I... I may not be smart enough for this. Because I need it to be... I need it to alternate. I need it to do... Nacho pretzel, then cheese. Regard... Whichever one. Alright. I understand the concept, but I cannot figure out how I need to make this work. I'm just gonna play. <laughs> I don't know why that kills me. All right, machines. Oh, you can buy new machine. Oh my goodness gracious. See, I want to set it up over here. I don't understand what all this part is. How to make this go. Let me look at instructions again. Clone apart. Control left click. Do I need to clone something? It says clone apart is control left click. That's not actually cloning anything. Oh! 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 Okay. There. There. Uh. Ah. I turned it. Okay. 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 I got something happening here. Yes. Okay. So now either of those will come down. This can go here. Do I need to have a special thing here? Uh, 
But what is this part about? Ah, that's not telling it to put anything in it. Okay. Start. Nacho. Can I move? Okay. Start to nacho. Nacho to pretzel. Pretzel to cheese. But I need them both to cheese. Emergency! These project products have collided. Okay. Let me put this here. Let me put this here. Cause you would would you want cheese on your pretzel too? Or is it only on the Maybe. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. Collision. How do I tell it to wait? My son would put you- Yeah, I know, right? Lay the belt between components. So, hmm. What do you think of that? Product does not match the or- oh! Do I only want nachos? <laughs> How do I tell it not to wait for the tray? How do I tell it to wait for the tray? So I don't even need pretzel, right? Like pretzel's not... Pretzel's not even in this order! Why are you confusing me? Maybe two separate paths. I know. Cheese can never be yours. Nacho cheese. <laughs> oh, hi, Warbreaker. Sorry. I saw you in there and I, you and Work Work both have really long W names and I got confused. <laughs> okay. Wire a stacker to itself to make it eject after stacking. Do I- okay. In this first one, stack on tray. Tray and chip are both coming out on either end of the same track. Oh wait, what is that thing? What is this? It's a grabber hand. I don't have a grabber hand. Where do I get a grabber hand? I wonder if that's the things you have to buy. Stacker. Damn it. Do I have money? I have money. Can we buy a stacker? <gasps> we can buy a stacker. Oh shit. Okay. Well that's a thing. Alright, let me scoot this over.
Okay. We need... Let me look at the instructions again. We need this thing. Let me rotate it. How do it? Mm. I'm getting there. Pathing the cheese, yes. Okay, stack, eject. See, it's going to say there's a collision. Can I put this up here? No. Oops, that's not where I want that. See, they collide. It needs, to, okay. This. All right, let's try. Okay. Why? I was pathing it before it was it. Why won't it path now? Oh God. All right, let's take all those out. There. There it pathed, okay. Please stack. Huh? No path product beneath the dispenser. Can that... Can this go... No, that's not gonna work. Oh my. Okay, let's move this over here. I am making this way too hard, I'm sure. I don't even know if that's necessary. Why does it keep saying that? There's no product beneath the dispenser. Oh, is it... Okay, so the nacho, the nacho comes out. Sure. I don't know. Oh, this is... <laughs> Thank you for coming in work. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I think this this game may be 
more than I could handle. I am not getting it at all. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like it doesn't understand to wait. And I can't just have it. Oh, I wonder if I could do, all right, let's delete that. Let's do stack then cheese. Will that do it? Products cannot enter from this direction. I don't understand. I am not smart enough for this. Okay. Wow. Yes, please. Well, so far the only one I can handle is making models. And some solitaire. I wonder if it's too soon to download anything. Okay, Dungeons and Diagrams. The point of this game is to figure out what the map looks like by filling in squares according to the number on the top and side while making sure you follow the rules. It's a fun puzzle and good to kill time with. Stick to it, stick it to the man by putting it on your work terminal if you don't think the boss will see. Any trouble you get in at the office is your own responsibility. All right, let's download that one. Okay, one minute, 20 seconds. That's not bad. Um, let's try Juice Box Arcade again while we're waiting. Oh, there's other games. We just only have Hack Match. Okay, let's try. Jerks. Nice. Hello. Hi. Sean's here. Can you pull down more than one at a time? More than one at a time what? One piece at a time? Or I, is it just one? Not that I can tell. Like... The button is pull and... This is and up, down, push, right? and then the other one is switching. Okay. I was just curious. Yeah, I can't figure it out. It comes down very fast. It does, and it... So, like, those two bombs would clear everything of one kind. If oh, if I time. can get them together? Yes. There nice. Most of the time there hasn't been... I know. That's the first time I saw That's one. That's the first one I, I uh, did. Or they were the same. There you go. Holly says hi. Hiya, Holly. All right, let's grab that. It's too bad a bunch of the game stuff is behind your head on some of them. Aw. Sorry. Like the factory one. Ugh. Uh. Oh, they have a health bar. Yeah, blast them. Oh, come on. I know. What did, did the, oh, the gray ones turn into other ones after you make a match, I think. Or if you make a match near them. Uh. 
because those won't match. Ugh. Right? Ugh. Right? And you have to play with a keyboard? That sucks. Oh, thank God. Woo! Uh... Oh, you are good. What a Lady! Jerk. Oh my god. I don't. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm so close to killing her, too. There's no time! Stupid anime, bitch! <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> no! <laughs> F off! <laughs> All right, we got a new game. Dungeons and Diagrams. All right, we can close that. <laughs> uh, what? Tutorial. Hark, brave adventurer. In this game, you must use logic to complete the dungeon map by placing walls in correct places. The number next to each row indicates how many walls it contains. Oh, it's like... Sort of pick cross? Yeah. I like pick cross. Left click to place walls. Okay. 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 This might be good. I would hate this one too. <laughs> right click are. to mark empty space. Ah, okay. I think I can do this. All right. So. You found your calling. These are all empty. So, wall, 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 wall. Yeah, this is me. This is me right here. Um, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. That doesn't make sense. Oh, this doesn't count? Or do they move around? You have to, like, make a... Maybe it's different than See, just pick cross. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Look at the instructions again. Um... <laughs> I thought it was telling me I had to register for the game. Okay... Yeah? Oh, you have to build a treasure room. You have to figure out how to make three by three. Oh, it's not five in a row. There's just five. Oh, it's not exactly like Picross. Yeah. Shit. All right, now I gotta start over. Oh, can I refre? Can I like reset? Reset. Okay. Yeah. So it'll have to This be... is definitely zero. So that's empty. And like your One, maze will two, have to dead three, end four. into each of those guys. So these are like that. Huh. And then same with each of these. So that's... Huh? I think. What? There'd be a wall in each one of those in front of them. You think so? Yeah. In front of them? No. Here and here, here and here. Why? Because they, the corridor there has to lead to a dead end with each of them in it. Oh. So I would just repeat this yeah. twice? I think. I mean, I didn't read all of the directions. <laughs> just like you didn't. Sure. Um, let's say these are empty. Nope. That's cool. It lights up to tell you what's wrong. Hmm. 
So it's got to be a... Hmm. The treasure has to be in a 3x3 three three space. But it could be, like, these three, or it could be those. There you go. Hey. Okay. We did it. Thank you for your help, Sean, because yeah. I didn't think about how those had to be yeah. hallways for those guys. Dungeons and Diagrams was a fun little puzzle game that spread through the office. It was an older version than this with simpler graphics. Someone gave it to me who got it from his friend, who got it from a different friend, and so on. That's how things spread. The guy who made it was in Finland, but nobody knew how to contact him. We all would have liked to send him some money, but how? Eventually, I was able to make contact, but going through a connection in the Sawayama Nordic office. Such a small world back then. That's cute. I wish I had been a part of that type of stuff back in the day. Okay. So we figured one out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there we go. Treasure room. Not sure. Try that. This needs six, though. Um... So one, two, three, four. This isn't right. I'm missing one. Something in this area. Let's do that. Hmm. No. Okay. Oh. Huh. This is an interesting game. Let's try another one. That's all zeros. 
Mm. Let's do that. Okay. Let's try that. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. One, two. One. Okay, well this isn't going to work because one of these has to be here. That's not going to work either. Let's. All right, so that's two, so we can do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do that. This is harder than Picross. I'm not bad at Picross. This, this is a lot. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's five spaces. If I do this, that'll be if for this row. I'm gonna say that's not because that, that guy's gonna have to come up that way and the same with that and that. Let's do that. Hmm. Oh, that's too many. Let's take them both out. Um. I'm going to do this. Probably there. Okay, one, two, three, four. This one only gets one more. I'm going to put it here. Is that going to count as a treasure room? Hmm, one, two, three. Okay. Um, 
Thanks for the lurk, Pichu. There. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> I filled everything in, but this is not what it wants. Not what it wants. Okay. I guess I'll need to reset it because I'm not sure. Reset. Zero. Five. One, two, three. Oh, six is all the way. Okay. Hmm. This one's hard. Hmm. Let's do those two. Hang on. Had to reply to an email. Okay. One, two. There's four more here. I'm going to guess there. I'm going to guess not there. I'm going to guess that. This is hard. <laughs> Actually, not sure about those. Take those off. It's a bummer that I managed to get all the pieces in, but it still wasn't right. Because now I'm like, eh. Hmm. Let's say that. Just guessing. Worth a shot. Uh, 
three, one more here, three more this way. Okay, that. I did it again. <laughs> I did another one where I solved the numbers, but it's still not right. Oh God. I, like some of these look pink. Like, are those not right? Yeah, I don't know. I cannot get that one. There's another one. Here's another one for me to not get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's that. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Why is this one easier in a way? Nope. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, hmm. two, three, four, five. I did it again. I did it again. God damn it. Uh, reset. Okay. One, two, three, four. It's going to be some of those. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's correct. And that's correct also. One, two, three. All right, so this is done. One, two, three. Hang on. Yay, something I don't, it's not for me. Okay, so I need one more in each of these rows. One more in all these rows. One of, only one more in this row. Two more in this row. Nope. Nope. <laughs>
There. Yay! Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All but one in this row and this row. Try that. Try that. Try that. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's take that out, put that there. Try that. I need one more in this row. Ugh. It's not going to work for any of it. I'm successfully solving the puzzle, but not making it right. Um... <sighs> Once I get to this point, my brain just can't. Okay. Let's, um, let's see who we can rain out to, because I pr probably should, like, watch work a little better than I normally do. Thanks for hanging out in here with me. Let's see who we can raid out to. Um. Well, let's go see Althier the Wizard. I think we raided him yesterday. Let's do it again today. He Maybe is playing. Lord of the Rings Online. Like the most Let's do it. So Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. This game was hard. My brain hurts. Oops, I got spell raid correctly to do this. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'll play this or something else. Or maybe I'll go back to Model Builder Simulator. Because that was making me want to play it. Yeah, or else Disney Dreamlight Valley, The Sims, you know, a lot of my usuals. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, text-to-speech doesn't feel like working.
says we're already raiding, so it's not letting me raid. So we'll see. Hopefully this will work. And I'll see you over in his stream.